now available in paperback and Kindle Unlimited, The Man Crisis. Learn why so many men are struggling to find their way in an increasingly gynocentric world in The Man Crisis. Get your copy of The Man Crisis in paperback and Kindle Unlimited today. An Ohio man allegedly took the lives of his three young sons by lining them up before executing them with a rifle. All news footage in this video is used under fair use of United States copyright law of 1976 and is used in conjunction with my commentary. 4.15 p.m., the first 911 call reaches dispatchers. A woman screaming her babies had been shot. The female that went to the firehouse is advising them that the male shot the entire family. Three minutes later, a second caller reports a girl running down the street yelling her father was killing everyone. There are multiple children in the yard. Claremont County deputies arrive to find three young boys, ages three, four, and seven, shot. They say attempts to save them didn't work. Their mother was shot in the hand and taken to the hospital. When it involves children, that's terrible. Neighbors like Dan Thomas are left awestruck by the news such violence shattered their rural community's usual calm. 18-year-old Seth Trees lives a couple houses down. You see this massive police presence up here? Yeah, it, it, it's weird. It's it's unheard of, you know? Crazy. I mean, tell me what it's like around here. It's quiet, you know? People mind their business. Nothing like that ever happens out here. This is a quiet country and very nice area. So to hear this, it's terrible. Deputies say when they arrived, they found Chad Dorman, the kid's father, sitting on the home steps with his boys laying in the yard. He was taken into custody and questioned by detectives. If it gets to a point where you're, you get that mad, I mean, walk away. Don't, in no way, harm your, your spouse or, or your children. I mean, come on, just walk away. Don't, that don't take, and don't hurt nobody. Now, in this incident, which took place in Monroe Township, Chad Doerman, a 32-year-old man, allegedly took his three sons, lined them up against a wall, and then allegedly began shooting them execution-style with a rifle. And as he was shooting at his sons, the mother tried to protect them and wound up getting shot in a hand, and one of, and the surviving sister ran, running to try to get help for her brothers. Now, after murdering his three sons, Chad Dorman then sat on the porch of his home and waited for police to come and arrest him. Now, the police are seeing this execution of these three small children as an isolated incident, but when I take a critical examination of the heinous actions Chad Doerman allegedly participated in, they fit the pattern and profile for beta males that I talk about in my book, The Man Crisis. And when it comes to many of these beta males, many of these men are seething with a lot of frustration and anger, and most people will never know about it unless they know what the warning signs are. Now, Chad Doerman had an incident with his father a couple of years ago where he allegedly wound up choking his own father as related to what the father believed was an unrelated incident. However, the father really didn't understand how many beta males will sit there and harbor a lot of anger, never once wanting to ever talk about it. And according to reports, Chad Doerman didn't want to talk ever about whatever was bothering him. And when men don't go out here and talk about what's bothering them, what happens with many beta males is that these men seethe in anger for extended periods of time. And as they're seething in anger, and most people won't notice it, Eventually, what happens to these men is that they wind up exploding in a rage. And as they explode in that rage, what they do is go out here and participate in a spectrum of extreme violent behavior. Because according to reports, they say that Chad Doerman allegedly wound up snapping. And I believe what happened with him is that he wound up, again, not snapping, but exploding in rage. 
because there were things he possibly did not want to talk about. Now, this was a 32-year-old man who was a father of four, and that's a lot of pressure on a man, especially a beta male, because beta males like living in a place I call the smooth world. And in that world, they don't want conflicts, problems, or obstacles. And whenever these men run into conflict due to the dysfunctional way they are raised by single mothers and beta male fathers, a lot of these men do not know how to navigate through their emotions and do not understand while you have these feelings of anger, you don't act on them. And the whole thing is you also, as you're having these feelings of anger, sometimes you just need to go out here and talk about these feelings because being angry is not a bad thing. No, sometimes you just have to work through whatever feelings you have, but many beta males are never taught how to work or resolve through conflict. And because these men never were taught how to resolve conflict, many of these men fear conflict, and they fear that, that any sort of conflict will disrupt their smooth world. And because they fear that conflicts will disrupt their smooth world, they try to avoid the conflicts as related to the feelings that they're having. And because they try to avoid those conflicts, what they do is suppress their feelings as related to those conflicts and as they suppress it eventually they wind up exploding in this rage because they haven't dealt with those feelings and that's what happens between um this man chad dorman and his father in an incident that people discounted and this possibly was what happened as related to this murder of his children this man was sitting there seething and about a lot of things that were possibly frustrating him and as he was seething about all of these issues that were frustrating him and avoiding the conflicts as related to them, what happened to Chad Doerman was he reached a point where he basically wound up exploding in rage to the point where he wanted to do harm to his boys. And again, with beta males, they like to do harm to boys because boys represent the um, power that they want. And again, these boys having power makes them upset about the powerlessness they have as a man. So this is why you will see a beta male go out here and attack another boy or a man because they feel powerless as related to those other boys and men. And because they feel powerless, they feel the only way to take power is to go out here and hurt these children and again beta males like to do harm to children because again their issues as related to power so a lot of people are wondering okay what happened as related to what would motivate a man to go out here and do harm to children like this and again when you have a beta male who is simmering and boiling in anger for an extended period of time eventually what leads to these men exploding in rage is the fact that they just do not know how to deal as related to the conflicts that are a part of everyday life. And when you have a household with that you're married and you have four children, there's a lot of conflict there. And again, that's the worst kind of situation for a beta male to be in because beta males cannot really handle dealing with conflict and they cannot they don't know they're afraid to deal with conflict because they're afraid of disrupting their smooth world they're afraid of not being the good guy um they're afraid of having to deal with situations where they have to deal with problems and again this is what makes these beta males again seethe with anger and a household with with four children this would be a place that would again kindle up the rage of a beta male but nobody would know about it because as he's seeing these boys just being boys and roughhousing and doing what boys do this again sets off their anger and again this man was possibly angry for an extended period of time and as he was ex angry for an extended period of time he basically wound up exploding in this rage and wound up going out here and murdering his children in the most reprehensible passion because this seven four and three year old young boys again lost their life because a father was filled with anger possibly about the whole 
prospect of, again, having to deal with children being children because, again, beta males like their world smooth and they like their world where they don't have to deal with any sort of conflict or problems or obstacles, but they create the worst situations because as they explode in their rage, they participate in some of the most extreme violence you will ever see. Because it's just, again, one of the most horrific things is to, uh, for a man to, again, murder his own children. It is one of the most depraved things anybody could do. And again, it really just shows, again, how twisted a beta male is as related to their spectrum of violent behavior, the lengths they will go as related to their anger. And again, the anger is something they have had for an extended period of time. And what's scary about beta males is that no one will know how angry this man is because he will keep it suppressed inside of him. And as he keeps it suppressed inside of him, most people don't know that they're standing in the presence of a monster and they don't understand that this monster can go off at any time because with beta males, it's not a matter of if they go off, it's a matter of when and it's a matter of when because it's just a matter of time before this man explodes in this rage. Now, what's really scary about beta males, in addition to them participating in these heinous actions, is that many of these men, again, they live in a rose-colored reality where all they're, thinking, all they're acting on is their feelings regarding whatever is angering them. And usually what happens with these males is that they never think about the consequences of their actions until it's too late. And this male, basically, after he wound up murdering his sons in that explosion of rage, then wound up just sitting there because he realized the consequences of his actions, and now he realizes he's possibly going to be going to jail for the rest of his life for taking the lives of his sons, and he's possibly going to be winding up in that penitentiary for the rest of his life, and he's going to suffer even worse than he made his children suffer and his wife suffer when he shot her in the hand because he's going to be in prison for the rest of his life with Bubba, Tiny, Roscoe, Big Dave, and Melvin and Mr. Sprinkles, and they're going to wind up turning him out for commissary, and he will deserve it because if he is convicted of these crimes, which are, again, some of the most heinous I have ever heard of, he will be getting what he deserves because this is not just a man in crisis, this is a monster, and this is the kind of monster that becomes of one of these beta male nice guys, because these men, again, they're, they're, while they're smiling on the outside, they're seething on the inside, and the scariest part is most people don't know that they're dealing with a Dr. Jekyll who will turn into a Mr. Hyde, and this Mr. Hyde goes out here and participates in the worst kind of carnage, that human beings will ever see. That is the scariest part about these kinds of men, and what's even scarier than the actions of a Chad Doerman is the um that the fact that we've got more of these guys out there, and again, we're seeing an increase in frequency of their kind of violence, and again, they're seeing this increase in frequency because many of these men basically had the clock on their ticking time bomb accelerated due to the COVID-19 lockdowns. And as we, they've had their, their um, clock accelerated, this is why we're seeing so many of these kinds of males exploding in this kind of rage. And we're seeing them explode in this kind of rage at a higher increase in frequency because we've got lots of these males out here and again, ticking time bombs all around us. And again, most people don't want to acknowledge how we have a problem in America as related to these men in crisis. And we have a problem with these men in crisis because we don't want to acknowledge that they, there's a problem with these men and a problem with the way we are raising boys to become men because the way we're raising boys to become men are creating these males who eventually become ticking time bombs. And these ticking time bombs are now landmines. And what's really scary is, is that we've got over 100 million of these men out here. And these men are not knowing how to function as men. 
And what's scary is most people don't even know they are in the presence of these kinds of men in crisis. Now, if you want to learn more about what motivates a man to go out here and participate in this kind of violence, or what type, what, le what the warning signs are as related to the behavior of a violent beta male, you can pick up my book, The Man Crisis, on Amazon.com in paperback and Kindle format. You can also find The Man Crisis at other online booksellers like Smashwords, the iBookstore, Google Play, Barnes & Noble, Walmart, and Target. And I'm hoping more people pick up The Man Crisis because this book could save your life or save the life of a man in your family because I wrote this book to help all men so that they would understand that they are not alone and that they can go out here and get help because we have a whole hundred million men in crisis and all these men need all the help they can get to break out of a paradigm that could lead to them wind up destroying the lives of themselves and the lives of others. And if you want to see me make more videos about the man crisis, you can send a donation to the Patreon, the PayPal, or the Cash App by clicking the links in the description box. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe. Support Black-owned and Black-operated digital broadcast media. www.niceradionetwork.com Nice Radio Network, broadcasting 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Now available in paperback. From the author of the critically acclaimed book, The Man Crisis, comes The Woman Crisis. Learn why so many women have become lost in their quest to have it all in The Woman Crisis. Get your copy of The Woman Crisis in paperback at Amazon.com and online booksellers today.